I am the ruler of the lands, for I am the face of this fountain! Hey everybody, Klaus here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we saved the real Queen Leamy from the clutches of the evil Yakra. And we return to our own time. This episode, we're gonna be the gentleman here, and we're gonna return Luca. I was like, Meryl! Can't believe I can be this too. To the castle in our time. Now, I want you to take note here. The um, cathedral that was here in the past is gone. Thankfully, because that place is so creepy, I can't say that enough times. Also, we have a proper bridge to, um, across the cell continent. So, let's see what's here. It's just... Okay. I'm gonna open a stall in the fairgrounds so you can't drop by. It's nothing all that special. It's just got a bunch of, um, PCs crossing the bridge. What do you got? Always wanted to go to the 1000th uh, 1, anniversary of the kingdom. The uh, kingdom has been around that long, I guess. We got it. Yeah. What's really interesting is that these NPCs just keep looping over and over and over. It's not significant, but it's just something I just kind of wanted to show off. Or we're going to the Guardian Forest in the present time. Things have changed slightly. When I say slightly, I mean a few new enemies. I guess we'll go ahead and um, take on these enemies since they're kind of new. There's mushrooms! The takes! Yeah, they're just as weak as any typical mushrooms. <laughs> Kids in point, you only do four damage. Oh. What is it with me, these unnecessary crits? Oh well, I'm not complaining. They're not the best enemies to grind off of, but hey, I suppose they're there if you want to grind, them off, grind, grind off of them. Okay, these enemies in particular, though. Okay, Avalon Chaos. In the name, they can inflict chaos on you. Chaos is basically confusion. So, preferably you want to take these guys out first. To keep them from inflicting chaos on you, because it, it sucks being inflicted, on, being inflicted with chaos. I know that's done. Even though I could use more experience, I just want to see if I can slip right past these guys. I can I can actually. Nice. Open field lies ahead. You're just like your brother 400 years ago. <laughs> Pointless. Pointless sign. Oh well. Send the castle. Into the castle, into the void! Whatever. <laughs> Princess Nadia. Are you alright? Where have you been? Heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Scoundrel! You're the one, huh? Kidnapping Princess Nadia. No, Kronos. Admit it. You confused her and tried to take her or take over the throne. Terrorist. Not too far off from a few political morons I've seen. 
just tossing out random accusations such as video games cause of violence anybody remember that stop it stop this at once holy cow if the girl can yell what are you doing the, uh, Princess Nadia is set to... Idiots! Detain him! Crudo! Yep, we're on trial. I'm the counselor, the prosecutor. And I'm the lawyer, Perry. Members of the court. Rave now being forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with abducting Princess Nadia. What shall we do with him? Fire, perhaps? Keep him upside down for a few years? Or shall we employ the killer team? You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now let us begin. Colonel, you are here by order to tell the truth. Chrono is being Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. Two men completely by accident. In fact, Princess asked Chrono if she if he could join her. Well that may be true. Is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? You're going to want to answer that you did it, even if it's false. Just as I suspected, the defendant deliberately tried to get near the princess. Hey! How does that hurt? The princess then innocently followed you to Lucas' little sideshow. Whereupon you both disappeared. That wasn't criminal abduction. I don't know what is. You clearly didn't see the whole show. Because the, something went wrong and Meryl got sucked into her portal and we didn't, we didn't after her to save her. But why let the facts get in the way, eh, Chancellor? Now facts to throw at the defendant's character into question. Objection! Can have any relevance whatsoever to this case. Can I respond to the Chancellor? Kuno's character is at the very core of this case. You have nothing to hide. You have a witness, a little girl who will vouch for the character of the defendant. Now you see why I saved the I brought her the cat? This nice man, he brought me my kitty. Thank you for being so kind. How about that? Doesn't this man deserve a medal? Who? Looks like they're buying it. The issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No. There was none. What about Ransom? Her fortune did tempt you, did it not? Yeti! Well, for this answer, we're gonna say yes. So, you admit it! Nothing more, your honor. The prosecution rests. 
members of the jury. If he is guilty, stand to the left. If it isn't, stand to the right. Not guilty! Not guilty! Not guilty! Guilty. So I'll screw it up in one area. Okay, I badly screwed up. Not guilty! Not guilty! Order in the court! A verdict has been reached. The verdict is... Not guilty! But the fact remains, even if he did not kidnap her, he ran off with her. Three days solitary confinement as punishment. Take him away. Now just a darn minute. Princess. That's enough, my dear. Oh, father. All I asked was for you to behave like a princess. Even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget all the forget about the events in town. We're leaving. Chrono! Yeah, their justice system here definitely needs a lot of reform. In fact, this is kind of similar to the um, passing of the Bible where Jesus was strapped to the um, cross. To, um, receive the punishment in place of all the um, sinful human beings that resided on this earth. This terrorist has tried to overthrow our kingdom. He's been found guilty. You must carry on his head. You liar! He's been found not guilty! So, this is the monster who kidnapped the princess. The execution is three days away. Do not let him out of your sight. Execution? Strange. I don't seem to recall hearing anything about an execution. What? How dare you question me? The paperwork's probably just been held up in the system. Or, no execution order has been ever carried out. Understood, sir. Cards. Take the prisoner away. Sword didn't even connect. Yeah, he was still knocked out. <clears throat> oh well. Drink this. Eighteen MP will be recovered. Some sympathizers brought that stuff for you, you lousy felon. Six ethers. They could just wait here and wait it out until you got the sentence to Israel execution. But ultimately you could just bang on the door three times. Knock it up. Oh, I'll show him. Open it up. That's what you get from misbehaving. Now, you want to just run out here while the door is open. Where do you think you're going?
All right, these typical guards. Yeah, you can actually fight them. Okay, this is a lot better than the alternative because there is actually quite a few things that you can get while down here in the dungeon. The first of which is a chance for a lot of really good experience. Which is why I highly recommend you know, like trying to break out of the prison yourself rather than waiting for the sentence. I just want to let you know that is an option that if you want to do that. Personally, I think this is a much better option. You can just keep going back here and drinking some stuff, I guess. However, this door won't open completely. It'll either open halfway or just close back up. There is some pretty nice stuff behind this um, cell door, but we're going to have to go around. Plus, there's actually this enemy right here that we won't be able to fight otherwise if we didn't try to break ourselves. But, uh, that, we're gonna head over here. The only 2D area in the entire game, actually. But we're gonna knock this guy out from behind. Do that, and. Yeah, you can just go right past him. Some of these, some, some of these guards will actually drop some uh, super tonics, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, speaking of stuff, ether, mint tonic. That's what I'm thinking of. Going past that guard, yeah, you get some really nice stuff in here. But as soon as you try to leave, So you're the escaped con. We got this guy to deal with. The Omicron. For almost where he'll just edge closer to you. The attacks are fairly inaccurate. Case in point, he'll attack you and it'll miss. But if I'm not mistaken, this guy's attack is actually fairly strong. If it'll hit. But I don't want to find that out. So I'm gonna knock him out. They don't pay me enough for this. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Money. I guess to be fair, his line of work is really dangerous. I mean, you gotta, you gotta constantly deal with um, any possible escape convicts going 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 about. I mean, you gotta go on the front lines, maybe take on some dangerous new foe or something. These guys, blue shields. Don't wait until um, these guys lift their shields. In this case, Yado D's. <laughs> like a better name. But, if I can... Okay! I'll show us up another time. I'm gonna show us that if you attack them with their shield up, they'll actually counterattack. They can't... They don't attack you otherwise. They just... switch their shield back and forth. As long as you don't attack them with their shield up, you don't have anything to worry about considering those guys. In here, though... We have, a. Uh, it's Skeleton. It's a spirit wall. Just bring that pack of bones back to life. Meet the descent. The descendant. Yeah, I don't get it here. But, this is another case to a uh, skeleton not being the weakest enemy in any RPG ever. Uh, whatever. I just wanted to show that was there. Right here's another cell door that won't open completely. Yep, 
Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff that would just have to take a longer round just to be able to obtain, but yeah. Let's go over here. Prisoners escaping! Alright, it's gotta wait for you to come close. Come on. Okay, closer, other guard. There you go! Okay, that just looks kind of weird. He, he's, he's going off the bridge and circling. Look, using Cyclone in this area is really odd, I gotta say. Doesn't make any sense, but since when does a video game have to make sense for it to be good? What do you have? Damn it. Ugh. My stealth skills are really bad. I was trying to show that if you knock out a guard here, you get a Metonic. That is a bit of a fair trade-off. I do get some uh, not-too-bad experience. I guess. Ah! I swear I've been able to do it before. I don't know, I just want to take, I just want to take you off quickly with a slash. Or not. Okay, fine, that works too. Okay, open this up. Find a, um, prisoner in a guillotine. Help me! Yeah, almost well, every. You're a lifesaver! I'm Fritz. My dad runs a store in Truist Village. Stop by if you're in the area. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Also, yeah. Definitely want to steer clear of this. Like, really awful convicts that like, they put you in these things and close them with those spikes. Ugh. Let's not think about that. Let's open this up and head on through. Yeah, okay, charge chest right here, which contains a bronze mill. Which is guarded by a couple of descendants, of course. Okay, now we took out those guys. There's not really all that much more left to go in this dungeon. Our dungeon. Ah, uh, gotta remember not to try to run. My guard is, in my opinion, the hardest one to knock out. I really the cyclone and I made deal with him. Just quickly deal with him. Okay, I'm getting not bad money off them, but I'd rather have a mid on it. It's kind of sad I'm not able to show that off, but oh well. Considering we're pretty much just almost out of here. But before actually making our escape complete, I take a bit of a detour. Get this um, shelter right here. Also, this is the only left door that actually opens completely. If you open this bag, yeah, crazy. Of a skeleton in a bag. Yeah, it really shows how unpleasant dungeons can be. And in... 
Okay, now it's to attack him while his shield's up. Not only do they probably take any damage, but they counterattack you. Okay, I want to wait until one of them... The other one opens the shield, come on. Okay, I'm an idiot. Apparently I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go! Take the both out at once! They're better to fight than the guards and for that reason. Oh well. There's nothing in this cell right over here. This one's already open. So we can actually be it and go outside the castle walls. Yeah. Is this is this safe? No, not really. But we're idiots and we'll have treasure, damn it! Open this up. It's not too bad a shelter. But more importantly, if you go down further... 1,500G and a load of sword. Yeah, you get much better treasure. Especially a load sword, that's a really good weapon. Yeah, and you, I think that's the only place you can get it. Well, at least get it for free, anyway. Definitely worth it. That's definitely worth it go, to go out of your way for. But now we've done that. Yeah, we got more blue shields right over there. So if you want to grind off of those, be my guest. We are out of here. Prisoners escaping. Damn straight we are. All right, we're taking down those guys now. Help! Boink. <laughs> Chrono, I've come to save you. Gee, looks like you didn't need my help after all. Let's blow this joint. Yeah, Luca. I got it here on my own. I'm a tough guy. Perhaps I'll come back later and show the alternate scene here. Or if you don't try to break out. For now, let's read this top secret document. You're all read it. The Prison Supervisor. Dragon Tank Owner's Manual. They can repair his body damage, and it contains a shield that prevents damage by lightning and fire. As the head it can be defeated, the tank is unbeatable. Oh yeah, are indeed. We are definitely want to keep that in mind for the next episode, alright? As we're going to end things off here. Next time on this light corner trigger, we're going to complete our escape and take on the dragon tank. See you guys then.